if i'm not mistaken you were working at accenture um during the same time you were juggling udemy work as well as the techcrunch work and accenture and of course udemy also got rejected from you know the now famed y combinator multiple times without an interview uh, what kept you going what kept you uh, on this journey right what was it um that helped you think through this and uh, persist so there's two way schools of thought on this and i agree with both of them but they're completely opposite to each other so the first school of thought is you know um hey like we should be empathetic and understand that life is hard and be a little bit more aware of that challenge and i think being aware is helpful because it helps you get through some difficult times where you really need some like self love and care and and kind of need to and so like you know i had a girlfriend at the time i was uh incredibly you know good about even even though i was working 100 hours plus a week i still took some time off and just shut down off the computer you know um i like i also was just honestly like young and had the energy it's like in my i was 21 years old so i i could kind of do that um i'd say today i probably wouldn't do it the same way but i had like a fair amount of balance and that's you know balance at 21 was working 100 hours a week balance at you know 30 3 right now is probably more like working 60 or 65 hours a week so i don't work nearly as hard as i used to but um so there's a little bit of self awareness and that's critical the second thing honestly is like i just had a lot of perspective growing up traveling to india if i'm being honest it's all it's india had a huge effect on me you know we had servants in our house and i am sure many of you grew up with servants in your house and like my life's 100 times better than the servants so it's just really hard to complain so honestly one of the things that gets me going is nothing's really that bad like you know getting fired from a job or i don't know like your girlfriend breaks up with you or whatever it is like these are relatively small problems in the grand scheme of the world right like as i mentioned if you grew up in 1918 and you were in a pandemic your life would be 10 times harder than what it is today you would have almost no human connection and today at least you can do it over a screen you would uh potentially not even know enough about the virus to be able to avoid the pitfalls of getting the virus <laughs> like that information isn't traveling well you'd have no sources of news that were ubiquitous that you know like you would be reading everything from the newspapers and let's be honest like that has been the worst source of information for the pandemic so like you're you're basically just getting shit info the whole time like perspective is so valuable and i personally like think that there's a bit of a culture i don't know if it's as common in india but in america there's this culture of like woe is me or like my life is hard and like everyone needs to listen to my problems and I think that's total bullshit. I just don't have a lot of tolerance for it. Like the truth is your problems really aren't that hard. If you're talking to me, if you've somehow gotten, you know, if you're on this call, if you're on my Twitter, like at least my in my world and probably in most of your worlds, you got food on the table, you got a roof over your head, don't complain too much, you know? And so be aware of the problems, but don't let them consume you um through a little bit of perspective. 